Welcome to IBC 2023. Discover game-changing innovations, explore new business models, and network with over 170 countries. Exploring groundbreaking innovation across 13 halls, right here in Amsterdam. Ashley within Broadcast, joining me is Sebastian of Multidyne. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. So tell me, where does Multidyne currently stand right now in the media and broadcasting industry? So Multidyne has been now for over 45 years to do a signal transmission over fiber optics. And of course, we're expanding to a different signal processing as we have this year at IBC Floor. Very nice. And what trends are you seeing as far as your technology in the media and broadcasting market? So with camera becoming uh, more power hungry and asking for a uh, higher speeds we have to look into those new trends and start uh, adjusting and designing a products which will be able to process those uh, new requirements not only to to send signals and uh, convert signal over fiber optics but also looking at the power requirements and other new signal requirements that are required to work with those camera manufacturers. Sure, and you've been showing me here a little bit earlier. Um, you have a lot of new products here on your stand. Tell me about some of those. So absolutely. So our flagship uh, product, uh, Silverback, uh, been known for quite a few generations right now. But with some of the cinematography cameras, there are some, some other new requirements that we had to uh, work with those uh, camera manufacturers and uh, create uh, new products and new solutions to be able to work with those new cameras. So as an example, we have on our floor a product with uh, Ape power expansion uh, that works with the Alexa 35. Alexa 35 is one of the cameras that require 24 volts. Uh, which traditionally a lot of cameras run on the 12 volts. So uh, last year uh, we introduced a product called uh, QS4 um, uh, Ape. It was a standalone box that take our known HUD APE, uh, which extend uh, the, signal, uh, the signal over the distance and enable the power closer to the camera. And uh, we introduced that standalone box, but this year we're showing on the floor uh, Silverback Ape, which is a combined version of the Silverback together with the power to power up the camera, but also to give a lot of uh, power for the accessories, like lighting, like teleprompter, stuff like that. And it can enable quite some power, which I was talking about that there's some requirements that require more and more. And this is our answer uh, to the market. Moreover, for the PTZ cameras, as we show FR7 Sony camera, there's also some requirements to be able to power up those uh, new cameras, which require like PoE++, which previously with some products we only address PoE+, but also to be able to power that different requirements powers. Like, for example, FR7 runs on the 19 and a half volts. So again, our answer was to combine our VB series product with our Ape and, and, and give the answer to, uh, to the market. So they have a solution so they can use right now that with the PTZ camera such as FR7. And do you have any other uh, latest developments you wanted to speak on or who are you targeting with these current products? So there's a quite few different products that we are showing. Uh, first of all, I probably will start with very simple, our flagship Silver Bullet, simple device, SDI uh, to, to coax and vice versa. So we're introducing this year a new improved 12 gig uh, version that can pretty much cover you know, all the type of the signals from 12 gig, 6 gig, 3 gig, down to like AES, SD. So right now, the one solution to cover all. And what we're really proud of is the performance and the heat dissipation. So it can really run in a very hot temperature up to like 50 C that we know. So that's, that's uh, we're really excited about this product and we're going to start shipping uh, shortly. Uh, moreover, we're also expanding on our uh, VB uh, series because, as I, as I mentioned, there is more requirements for a different signal, like HDMI. So we're working on expanding that, uh, that product line that a customer can go and just configure on the fly and just order from us so we can quickly deliver. But there is always missing some of the functionality. So this year we're adding HDMI input and output cards, which will allow customers to input HDMI signal, for example, from the cameras or other devices and convert them to SDI or vice versa or HDMI to HDMI. doesn't matter. So we have a lot of flexibility with that. On the top of that, we have a 10G, uh, 10G cards because some of the workflows in the broadcast industry require uh, traffic uh, to, to be sent over 10 gig uh, Ethernet. 
We had our previous version of the one gig, which we still continue supporting, but also 10 gig, which now will allow you know, higher bandwidth. On the top of that, that card will enable a uh, broadcaster to use the PoE++ and power up those power-hungry 90 watts devices uh, that's you know, being, being recently uh, required. I think the last and our bigger product line is uh, Honey Badger. It's a, it's a, it's a fix, fixed system uh, transceiver to move multiply signals between inside the venues usually, but not limited to, when you can do 8x8 uh, SDI, 3G, 12G, but you can do also audio with uh, mic line level. Uh, you can provide dual uh, gigi, uh, ethernet, you can do intercoms and some other signals with a full redundant backup and battery backup as well. So this is a great product for the, for the venues, for the stadiums uh, in Europe, across the world. Yeah, so we're very excited because it's quite quite few de new developments that we're showing this year. Yes, many things. So for those of you that want to know more, be sure to check out their website. And I'm excited to see what's next for Multidime. Thank you for showing us around your booth today. Thank you very much.